Okay, guys, Judoka is in blue, and the Shreijel guy is in red. So this Judoka put on the Shreijel uniform. Notice the short sleeves, right? It's very different, and the lapels are not as pronounced, and the belts are a little different too, and the pants are also different, right? Judoka put on the long pants. So anyways, um, lots of fighting for grips in Chinese shofa, like your hand techniques or Qiang Shou, or um, Qiang Ba, you could call it Qiang Ba. Oh, nice foot sweep by Judoka, right? That's a very standard Judo thing. They have it similar types of things in Shui Jiao also. So, Qiang Ba, like get the target or get the grip, right? So, Qiang Shou. Those are just random words I learned today, again, because obviously I'm going to want to be searching for a lot of this stuff on Chinese social media. I need to know what the terms are. So, notice the Judoka a little lower now. I would assume the Shui Jiao guy, the guy in red, is probably a little... <laughs> he's like, oh my god, in my own territory, I just got swept. I think he's probably going to dial it up a little, right? I'm not going to underestimate the judoka anymore. So, one thing you learn looking at how they train hand fighting when it's short sleeves is that the short sleeve sometimes makes it easier to go for an arm drag because if you're dragging the short sleeve it also go oh, he got him he got him he got him um that was almost in judo you could call that like an uchimata right a little bit that almost looked like an uchimata anyways but um if you drag the short sleeve your the elbow is going where the short sleeves getting dragged right so there's all these cool little techniques where you hand fight and then you first drag the short sleeve and then you arm drag anyways um i don't know if they're gonna do it there but yeah, it's really cool to kind of see how the techniques very Oh! Ho, ho, ho. So, Judoka went for something, right? Um in Shreja you call it a bia, like a party. He was using his his hands to go for the knee. I don't know what it's called in in Judo, maybe a knee tap or something, but the Shreja guy saw it and took that energy and got him down. Okay, so it's 1-1 one, one right now. Or, or actually, one, two. I think Shui Jiao guys got him twice. I don't remember. Anyways, it's pretty close right now. Props to Judoka. Again, the guy in blue for... For, um... Oh, look at that. A little attempt. I, I guess the wrestler would call that like a snap down. Notice the Judoka grabbing the belt area. And look at uh, the... I just noticed, look left hand of the Shui Jiao guy. He's been grabbing that short sleeve the whole time, right? He has a grip on the back of the collar, you see there? And he's got a short sleeve grip. That's a common Shui Jiao grip, which I know Judoka's not familiar with. So I wonder why Judoka's grabbing the belt like that. Oh, look at that. He went for the short sleeve and immediately it's back in this position. This like double mirrored short sleeve grab position. Oh, look at that. Judoka gave away the top of his collar. Oh, he's trying! He's trying! Oh! Now, here's Shui Jiao rules, right? The Shui Jiao guy, his elbow hit the ground. So, you guys let me know. Does that count toward Shui Jiao guy? I like that the Judoka gave a little, little uh, Kung Fu salute, too. That was pretty cool. Yeah, give them both credit. Good job. Wow. This moment's actually interesting. It was actually, look at that. Shui Jiao guy was the guy trying to sweep. But Judoka just went with the momentum, you see? So it was actually footwork that off-balanced the Shui Jiao guy. So this is Shui Jiao guy's revenge, right? Notice Shudoka is grabbing the belt. So look at that. So yeah, um, the Judoka is really off-balanced. Notice what he does with his right leg. Watch. He, see that? Then he makes the Judoka off-balance to throw him, basically. This was the moment where the Judoka was trying to, you see? And then boom, just gets completely countered. So let's watch that again. See Judoka with his right hand. You see that? But bam. Shui Jiao guy. I think Shui Jiao guy is a little bigger too, right? So he overpowered him. This was the epic final moment. Judoka almost looked like he had it, man. But completely got countered by the Shui Jiao guy. But the Shui Jiao guy did end up with an elbow on the ground. So notice the grip, right? Notice the Shui Jiao guy. Look at where he's grabbing. He's grabbing the belt of our Judoka. This throw is so cool. Because... Watch how he grabs the belt and he grabs the short sleeve of the judoka, right? This is 
definitely a type of throw that the judoka doesn't know. I seem to have acquired this reputation of the guy who really loves attacking judo. Whatever you think, in this case, that judoka deserves a lot of credit, man. He went into a rule set he wasn't familiar with, with uniforms he wasn't familiar with, and the guy seemed much bigger than him. I will keep finding these gems. There's a lot of these gems from Chinese social media, so I'll keep breaking these down, commentating. And of course, guys, you know, I don't know too much about this, so I'm trying to learn as I commentate, so I get better with my commentary. And shout out all the judokas, all the people who are used to throws who have been just slowly getting me up to date with the terms and what to look for and stuff like that. So thank you all so much. You guys keep sending me this stuff, please. A lot more to come, guys.